This person is bisexual. This person is homoflexible and bicurious. This person is bisexual. Non-binary, genderqueer, pansexual. Gay, cis, male. Bisexual. Queer slash questioning and she slash her. I'm not public at all about my identity. I'm out to one person at Lindbrook and the rest are a couple of people outside of school. I'm open with my sexuality whenever directly asked but never made an announcement for others to officially know. I treat my sexuality as any other part of my personality and personally I don't think it is something others necessarily need to hear about. I feel safe with my friends knowing my sexuality since a lot of them are closet pan, bi, gay, which makes me feel really accepted. I know that my close friends are supportive, but everywhere I go, it's hard to not hear people making jokes about LGBTQ plus people. If I felt safe at Limbrook, I would have come out by now. I feel Limbrook isn't fully aware about the prevalence of our queer community. And especially for the in-closet queer people like myself, it can feel super lonely and depressing. It makes the saying, Limbrook is a bubble, even more real. I don't want people to act differently just because they know I'm queer. And if they wouldn't even be able to speak naturally around me because they knew I was gay, they definitely wouldn't keep the rest of their behavior around me the same. Generally, I feel like LGBTQ is very snubbed at Limbrook. Sex ed doesn't cover nearly enough about scales on the sexuality and gender spectrum, and it implies that heterosexuality is the only norm in my opinion. Coming out to teachers makes me extremely anxious because 50% of the time, it's but they slash them is grammatically incorrect. And the other 50% is answer these invasive questions about your gender, identity, and expression. I distinctly remember that one day when an article about either trans or non-binary people came out in Times Magazine that the boys in my biology class were making fun of it, asking each other if they were one of those, and label, labeling non-binary and trans people as an it. They weren't some kids I didn't know in corners of the campus that I don't visit. They were my peers, kids who I sit in class with, kids who I talk to on a daily basis, kids who I've been going to school with for close to five years now. I've heard those jokes before, but it hurts more when it's said to your face. At one point in middle school, I thought it would be really cool to be president. But as I then realized, I would have to come out before I became president, or some cheeky reporter would probably out me. I realized then it wasn't coming out that scared me. It scared me that I probably wouldn't win any sort of election being gay. I don't know how I'd tell my parents if I had a serious girlfriend. I've backed out of casual flirtationships because I panicked that my parents would find me out and they'd tell me I'm too young to know my sexuality and ask who influenced me, uh, me, and tell me it isn't okay to like girls. I say all my friends who I consider close know, but nobody and my family knows and I don't plan to tell any family. The parents always tell each other what's going on with other children. Even if you join a club, there are other people lurking to tell on you. It's awful. I was told by my dad, don't hang out with gays or you'll be influenced word for word. I have anxiety and I'm worried someone notices that I'm not perfectly straight as if my sexuality is a tattoo I wear, as if it's as obvious as the fact that I have brown eyes or that I am Indian. It tells me that I have no shot or that I'm a fake LGBTQ member because I also like boys. I was anosexia a couple months after coming out. The only gay straight types you see are skinny or buff, and this is either one or the other. Although being LGBT plus may be hard sometimes, I love myself and my identity. I love my queerness and making bad courage jokes. I hate people who reject who I am and refuse to respect my identity. I want other humans, regardless of their sexuality, to not ever feel alone as they face challenges. Whenever I meet someone that's also LGBT+, it's like forming this unbreakable bond. I know I have someone I can be myself with and someone who can accept myself and my identity. Be proud of who and how you are. You and your identity are valid. No matter how alone you feel or how many people criticize you for your identity, keep on being you. Take time to consider how you feel and don't worry about not living up to a label. It's okay to keep questioning even after you come out. It's okay to not know or not care. Stay loud, stay proud.